Jean Luc, I thought you were in Springfield. Now you know me, Dinah. I never in one spot for very long, eh? Well, you know, I told you I never wanted to see you again. But Dinah, Jean Luc erased the whole thing. If it weren't for him, we would not have this reunion of such best friends. Yes, when everyone heard you were back on the continent, well, they all had to see you, eh? Uh, <laughs> we brought you a party. Yeah. Everyone, everyone, this is um, Hart Jacob. Hi, nice, nice to see you. The pleasure is all mine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Hello. Hey. <laughs> nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice to meet some of Dinah's friends. <laughs> A toast to our Dinah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Party is really exciting, but I, I'm sort of. This is like this is my honeymoon. Honeymoon? What? Honeymoon? Uh, yeah. But Jean Luc, you didn't tell me Dino was married. Well, no, I and mean, we're not. Yeah. Well, we but, will be. We will be. Right. Engaged. Yeah. I look at the fabulous ring the heart gave me. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. No. Oh, well, that makes tonight even more special. Oh, oh, why? What's tonight? But Dino, you're gonna love it. I booked us a table at that flat where you danced for three hours with that ravishing Polish rock and roll song. <laughs> what was his name? Oh, 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 he loved to eat raw garlic. He loved to eat raw garlic. This one's for you, my little party doll. <laughs> Oh, how was your trip to Cross Creek? Well, you know, it went. Two changes of oil, but it went. You know what, thanks for calling us, because, uh, you know, the way you flew out here so fast, we had no yeah, idea where you were going. Well, you know, Annie, when she was a mind so. How's she doing? Well, Frank told me that you said she was upset about Josh. Well, she'll be okay, I think. I really believe that. She's a scared lady, what can I say? I mean, if Stavros were here, you know what he'd say? He'd say, fear... And faith, they don't live in the same house. Yeah, so it's the same thing now, right? Annie still fears, threatened by, you know, Riva. I keep telling her. So why won't you listen? She listens, but with ease, not with this. She listens with her heart, then she trusts Josh the way I trust Reva. Everything can be okay. Well, Dad, you know, you, do you know where Reva is? Josh, did you hear what I said? I'm pregnant. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's not a miracle. It's a betrayal. Okay, I, um, I can understand how you would feel like that at first. It's okay. No, Annie, this is far from okay. You know, with everything that happened, it's only right that you would think that I did something wrong. You set me up. It's what I prayed for. But it's not what I prayed for. Annie, a child is supposed to be something marvelous, something wonderful. And it is. This child will be born out of deception and lies. No, that's not necessarily true. Annie, come on. No, it isn't. What if this happened before I ruined my diaphragm? No, it... Why it, not? It, Why not? We made love plenty of times before that. And I didn't always think about my birth control. Neither did you. Those times that we would get carried away. Josh, you remember? And what if it happened with the diaphragm? No birth control is 100% effective. Annie, listen to yourself. Listen to the excuses you're making here. You're trying to make me believe that this child was an accident. You're right. You're right. You know, my grandmother used to have a saying that a child like this is never an accident. It's always a wonderful surprise. You devised a scheme. You made this happen without my consent, without my knowledge. It's not like we were lovers out for a thrill. What does that have to do with I'm anything? I'm your wife. 
You're my husband. We have a family, a wonderful family. Mar and Shane treat me like I'm their mommy, just like you're their daddy. You hey, know? what we had, what the family that we had was born of a, a, of a bond that was created through trust and through love. Well, this baby is pure love. Is that what you wanted right now? But we did talk about having a baby, didn't we? Remember that time out in the porch when we were looking at the sign? The carousel sign? It was a perfect sign, but it needed one more name. Our baby's name. All of our own. What do you want me to say? Do you want me to say it's okay that you betrayed me? Because eventually I wanted to have a child with we're you? We're be parents. You and me. I can't feel a baby right now, but I will. It's in there and it's living. It's part of both of us, Josh. I've never felt this way before. It's going to be so wonderful. Don't you see? Everything's different now. Our future. Nothing's going to be the same. Thank you. 